Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take out the power supply for the Dell XPS 435 MT, this computer. So the first thing I have to do is uh, remove the screws that are holding the side panel. So you just need a Phillips head screwdriver like this and just remove the two screws on the side panel, right side, from the back. Just like that and just pull this out, slide it out. So I'm basically going to just take the power supply out. So in order for you to do that, let me remove this. Whoops. Almost dropped it. Okay. So you have to remove a couple of screws. So the first screw is here. Second screw is there. Another screw is here. And another screw is there. So four screws. One, two, three, and four. Just those four screws. That's all you need to take out. Put the camera back in the belt. So I'll just take the screws out. And you just need a Phillips head screwdriver to do that for, for taking the power supply out for the rear. Okay. And the last screw is right here. And after that, it should just come loose. I'm going to put it upside down. And before you do that, make sure you remove the power connectors. Take the power connectors, all the connectors out. Okay, it's out. Anything that's connected, just remove it. Putting it in is just as easy. It's not difficult or anything. You just remove everything. Gotta make sure everything's loose. <coughs> Excuse me. I just use uh, wires like this to tie the cables in. See if this is uh, coming loose. Okay, now it's loose. Move all the cables. There's another cable. Let me get a flashlight so you can see. There's a cable in there, which you have to pull out. This connects to the motherboard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove one of the RAM modules. Just pull the latches out. Just remove this so I could get more leverage. 
kind of like obstructs it. So let me take out the other RAM module. Now it's eas more easily accessible. So you just pull that out. It just it should just come right out. There's a little clip on it. Push it in. Pull it right out. A little bit hard to do. Let me use both hands. Okay, good. So you push this little tab down, like here, and then pull it up. It does require a lot of force to do that, so. So it goes in this way, like that, and just push it in until it snaps into place. That's it. I'm gonna take the next thing out. And putting it in is the same thing, basically. It's no different than taking it out. Okay, let me remove that. Now it should come loose. Now everything's all the cables are out. So this is for the motherboard. Power cable to the motherboard. This is from the hard drives, which I took out. Now it should just come loose, just like that. When I push it in, I should be able to take it right out. Okay, it should just come loose like that. Now I'm gonna pull it out from the side. A little bit finicky. Get a different camera angle. Okay. And then you just slide it right in. right out from the side Just like that and there's another cable that you got to remove Make sure you put that in nice place there's a, another cable you got to remove I don't know if you could see that or not Here, right here, this cable. Just pull it right out, basically. There's like a little tab. And then you just pull it right out. It's kind of hard to do because there's this obstruction. This metal piece right here kind of like blocks it. Okay, it comes out just like just like that. It goes in just one way, like this. Now, the power supply is removed. Very simple. So this is the modular power supply, so I could just remove Remove this stuff. Which I'm gonna do just like that. Remove the other one. Just like that. Just it. So this power supply has this. This goes into the motherboard. That's a power cable. And that's another ATX power cable. 
just like that. And that's it. I removed the power supply. And to put it back in, uh, just to note, before you put this in, make sure you put this cable in first. And you know where I took it out, right? It's uh, right, right in there, right next to the CPU. That uh, white paste. Let me get a screwdriver and point it out. This thing right here. Make sure you put that in first before you put it in. And that's how you get it in. Pretty simple. And I'll show you how to get it in. To get it in, it's the same thing. Um, Except you see this part right here. This is where the fan is. This goes on the bottom, so it would go in like that with this on the bottom. If you put it on the top, it you won't be able to mount this. Thing. So to get it in, you just get it in like that. Now it's in, and then you just slide it. into the case. It's a little bit finicky. And now it's in. Flush in. See that it's in flush. And then you just put the screws in and screw it in. You put the screw in here, 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 and there. So there's four screws. One, two, three, four. And that's how you get it in. To take it out, I'm just gonna take it out again. I'm removing the power supply for this thing. So I could use it as another computer, basically. Because I don't need this computer anymore. It's going into the scrap yard. So to, so to get it out, you push in from the back. And that kind of like loosens it. And then you have to get it out like this way, putting force in that way. A little bit of force. really not that hard to do just comes out like that so it comes out like that goes in like this comes out just like that it's easier to get it out at this end and that's it the power supply is released I could take this out and put in another one if I want that's just it's as simple as that and after you put the power supply back in make sure you put all the uh, cap power cables and the appropriate uh, ports. Make sure you put the power uh, connector into the hard drives. If, if you have one hard drive, just one hard drive. If you have an optical drive on the top, then put it on here. Power cable for that. And then you connect one of the ATX power cables into this part on the motherboard. I think that's a 24 pin. And then you put the eight pin power connector behind the CPU, right? We got a screwdriver to point that out better. Right, right there. And it goes in just one way. And the ATX power 
connector also goes in one way as well. So here's a closer look of the side panel where the power supply goes in to. As you can see, you have this rail here. And you got another rail right there. And you have another rail right there. And you just glide, you just put it in there and then you just put it up and then slide it in, that's it. 